Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Meta HSC Valorant Grand Finals of 2021 Season 1. And this is going to be the Western Australia Grand Finals, which is very, very interesting because it's absolutely new. It is another league that me and, of course, the podcaster himself has, Daddy Slim, coming back into this and getting it all over again. Has how are you feeling? I'm good, Amp. We're, uh, I'm looking forward to some very good Valorant this evening from the West Australian fellas. We've gone from New South Wales. We've gone to, I think it was up in Queensland the other week. We're going to West Australia now. We've got Victoria next week. We're just traveling all around the globe uh, from the comfort of our own homes as well, which is, uh, well, probably going to be happening for a fair while because I don't think anyone's coming out of COVID anytime soon. Wherever you might be, I mean, personally, I mean, well, Victoria's just gone back into one. You're up in the the Sydney side enjoying yourself there for the past few weeks. I know that just always right. seems to get better, but hey, at least we've got some Valorant to enjoy this evening. It should be a very good match. Looking forward to seeing what these two teams can do and uh, who can become the West Australian champion for this season. So a lot on the line, but it should be an absolute classic. Yeah, and today we have... Kobe Catholic College versus the Great Southern Grammar. And this is something that's actually very interesting because we haven't been able to cast a lot of the games. So this probably is like one of the first times that we've seen the teams play. Um, although it's a little bit of a rip action because we didn't get to see much of them. Guys, you need to remember to, you know, obviously shout out the good number of Meta HSC and of course to our sponsors because our sponsors is from Torrens University and of course Optus and MSI. So if you're into gaming and esports, make sure to learn more about the game design, game programming, 3D design and animation graphics and communication design courses. And coming into it right now, we do have both side coming in. The first game is going to be on Ascent and just looking at it, uh, Kobe Catholic College is going to be on the defense where Great Southern Grammar is going to be on the attack. What do you think about the current pick of the agents has? Uh, the agents are probably what I expected. So we've gone the two attackers on both teams there, both uh, looking to, to the shaders as well. Dr. Porkchop and Leeche, 24, picking those up. Uh, smokes for Melon, and then also we've got Reba on that kill joy. So the defending team here, definitely having a few of those ones. Uh, the Cypher pick. Meanwhile, on the other side of things. So it's sort of just a bit of back and forth there. But uh, I think most of these picks, pretty general ones for Ascent. You know, you want this to be, when you're on the attacking side, you sort of want the two attackers to be doing a lot of work pushing in, trying to get those early picks. And then you focus more with the defensive stuff to play sort of afterwards and defense. But it does mean you need to pick up a few rounds in that first half. So it'll be interesting to see how this one does go as both teams putting their buys together for this round looking like it's going to be mostly pistol barb on the attacking side uh no armor or at all from any of the players meanwhile armor's going to be on leash while the rest also picking up their choices of pistols and utility on reaver as well and uh looking like it could be an a hit here and they're going to be running right into a three stack as we get this one underway oh and this is the early engagement cram gets tapped a little bit by Melon and Melon says, okay, well, this is quite interesting. The stack is just around here. Gonna chuck down the hill while most of the rest of GSG is just gonna be waiting through this little bit here. Hippo is coming from behind, but he has been revealed oh. and he is gonna be taken instantly. Well, you know what? That's a, a pretty ballsy effort to just run straight into the back, especially when you've been revealed like that. Doesn't unfortunately do too much. They're still going to be sticking towards this A site, though, and the rest are coming in. So they're not looking to get out. They're going to push into this. It's going to be pretty much a 4v4 clash here as both teams. The smoke the moment it goes down, going to be spotting a few there as Reaver gets a knock on, but takes 45 or 55 damage himself. Melon's going to pick up Cram. OC coming eight. through the back. They will actually be to pick one up and put this into a 3v4. <sighs> TV also picking up one now as well as the defender can't really get much done. OC with another lovely headshot there. Now it's just left on Reaver towards the back of the side already on less than half health. And Harvey's going to finish them off. And starting off very nicely there for their attacking team. You know, just as you do. You know, do this and do that. It's just pretty simple stuff. And I believe it was... Uh, is it great Southern Grammar on the attack? I actually should have checked that before we started. Yeah, made a lot nah, more sense. you're right. No, 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 no I'm just like, right. I just got it. You're just I that just good, Has. That's I'm right. Just that <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as what well, we I'm don't not. know. We know everything, right? And oh, apparently, yes, absolutely. it is 1 0. They're going to have the early guns. Um, and obviously, they are going to be. Ooh, not really go for the purchase. They're going to buy the full armor instead. So, going away from the traditional 
all the stingers on the specters and they're gonna just have the full armors having that little bit of an extra round of gaps so if they do take this one in clean style they can go with a match buy into the bonus round i believe that's exactly what kind of plan they do have currently uh meanwhile hippo is gonna see the first one although both is gonna do the same thing and just avoid a full confrontation camera going up there from cram not gonna really pick anything up as rebert takes that one down instantly just the Keldo sitting on the side here, a lot of utility available, but he's going to have to do a bit if he wants anything to come off here. And that jump peak, not quite picking anything up. The smoke does come out from the jet, so Reva is going to have to do a fair bit if they want to get this one done here. Smokes and stuff going down as everyone starts going in the alarm. Not triggering though, and also the Grand Tour manages to push them back. The blinding as well. Reva will pick up Cram. 4v5 situation now. Falls them back between that smoke, and now the bomb is sort of down in the open there. I need to grab it here. They either have to push in or try and grab it and then rush back towards the other side. They're getting close as well here. Melon really wants to try and get there towards it. Melon almost gets taken down with the knife and OC, but actually gets out of it. Harvey picks up one, but Reva with the instant trade. 4v2, and now they left. have to push on the side here. D1 does get a pick there. Onto Ichi, bit of damage taken. No kill as yet. The door also being closed. They're pretty much stuck in towards this A-Link mid-cubby area. They want to push up. They have to push up. 17 seconds. You got to go for these ones, boys. And no time well. just ticking down. They realistically can't do a whole lot of the melon. Left. We'll go down. There is some low ones. Reva just looking into space. Not really sure what was going on there. Five seconds. The bomb. Last now they can just really run away. Leashe should be able to get something done here. D1 goes searching. Isn't going to find much except the uh, end of a barrel there from Itchy. One all. Nice hold there from Colby. Catholic College. And we've gone two rounds. One apiece. There's uh, now the economy for the side of, uh, well, I have to say, the Great Southern boys is uh, it's a bit ruined. Reaver's game crashed. Okay, that made okay. a lot of sense because Reaver was just sort of staring into space. I just thought, eh, that's interesting. Yeah, so that's might go for a pause here, I'm assuming. Yes. Um, no, okay, we'll just... No, okay. <laughs> okay, it looks like uh, Reva's just going to be DCP. That feels really bad. There is no pause right there, and it feels like all of their plans is just going to be waiting here. They have to do 4v5 currently. I'm not sure why they didn't request the pause. Uh, I believe the option. Uh, I Yeah, I don't know what the actual thing is for pausing, because uh, uh, we do know that does uh, you can do that. It's happened quite a number of times from the other teams that we've He's back. been in a lot of these miles, but Reva has reconnected, it seems, so looks like they might be back. It smells going to get that purse fill. On the cram, I apologize. Bit of a sneeze there on my end. Carol also popping up. D1 is going to pick up Melons. He's sort of just standing out there, seeing if he's picking anything else up. I guess they trade instantly. So, again, sort of not a lot of aggression early from either side. They're just sort of wanting to stay back, seeing which one pushes first. That time, what's the defensive side getting more aggressive? Reba in the corner there towards the side. Doesn't get the shot in. The sprays from both misses. Harvey will pick up Hippos. Will be three. They still have to think about pushing on towards this. So the bombs are going up short, though. So I'm not entirely sure what they want to do here entirely. Seconds left. And the door also closed down towards heaven. Harvey just left out the open. Leisha will get one as well. And the bomb now is going towards. That. I'm not entirely sure what they're playing. They could almost rotate towards B if they wanted. But uh, as it stands, 16 seconds. OC with the bomb. They go down. It's going to be big trouble. And now. Left in a 1v2. Dr. Pork Chop for 20. I mean, what can they realistically do? The turret alerts them to their position there for Reva. Three seconds, two, one, and that is the round done. Uh, it's been a bit all over the place so far, Em. Yeah. <laughs> I think with Reva disconnecting, it's throwing a lot of, like, funny things all around. But at the same time, it, uh, the defenders, they still managed to pick up the round. And I think this is just the early jitters, right? Coming from both sides. They haven't really done too much with their rounds, and it's still just early games for them to really flex the strategy. Feels like they haven't warmed up as well. So, a round of Yuka is going to come in from a GSG on the attacking side, and they are just going to have to um, deal with it with one uh, Ryoru possibly play coming from Harvey. Now, so we switch up towards this B site. First time we're seeing any sort of push towards here. So, just instantly, just a run out. Pistols and a biop as well from the save last round. So push in from D1. He's just jumping up and down towards the site. Uh, you know, 
A good attempt. Unfortunately, not really going to work there in Harvey now. Going in behind doesn't get revealed there. And Regal will take that one before they are finished off. But the bomb should be able to get planted here in the 3v4. And if Dr. Forsop can get a kill here, it would have made it interesting. Unfortunately, goes down. But Harvey will pick up Ichi. 3v2. And now this retake really gets underway. Oh, they need to hold this. The Lyris being put, but like they both blinded. Jumping out like that is never going to be good. And Harvey now has the one on three. Can he hold it? He's only got 28 health. He can't really fake this. So, yeah, that's just going to be it. They make it quite easy for the retake. Uh, three on one with a Yoru that's just out of area to move is always a bad time. That's going to ensure this is a three on one for the defenders. And Kobe Catholic College has to be feeling good about that. They have the guns. Uh, this is their round to easily take. But you know what? If you're looking from GSG, using one Yoru all to get the site, it's a pretty good attempt. And that ensures that they maximize their current credits. If they get something out and they're a little bit desperate, the bots can go for a blitz storm straight up really early. And there's an Empress to back him up just in case that there's an early fight taking to the A or the B. That's what they're after here. Now we're getting into our first real gun round here. Harvey and D1. And also Dr. Portop. It's going to be a bit short with the actual rifles themselves, but still pretty much a full buy from either side here. And it's all phantoms pretty much across the board. For Colby, Melon, that blind early. He knows crams in towards that area. Meanwhile, D1 and Hippo having a jet fight in towards mid. Who's going to get out of this one? It's going to be D1 picking that one up. Hippo goes down now. Mid control pretty much open. That's push up towards side begins. Now, Cram moving up. I don't know if they're aware that Melon's in this corner. And it's be wonder if Cram actually does check it. Melon, though, now doing that. That might have revealed his area. But Cram... Oh, no. Oh, you got to check this, boys. No, don't put your back to it. Oh, don't line up. No! <laughs> Harvey and Cram go down. Melon licking his lips there. A couple of fires through there to see if anyone was watching. Dr. Portops in the angle. Melon picks up a third, possibly even a fourth here. Reva will take that one, though. And now left in the 1v5. Oko pops ult. Uh, you know what? I like it. You know, if you're going to try 1v4, you may as well go all out, unfortunately. Not to be there for Great Southern Grammar and for OC3. 4 to 1 after 5. And so far, I mean, these four rounds in a row now, they get starting to get on the roll here, Colby. Great Southern Grammar, again, sort of just these half by the, like, a, they're putting in a lot of money towards these ones, not really getting a lot of results at the moment. Uh, that was just Melon having a great time. That's where Omen is just like, if, well, you don't want to spot me, you're going to ignore me, I'm just going to hold on to this until I get maximum efficiency. You see Melon having a lot going for him, the nice with a big massive triple kill with D-Boss, he's going to take out Hippo, and at the same time, most of this is just not going to be able to do too much, but the boss picks up a nice double key. This has opened up the mid, which means that they can re-rotate into a B, where only one killjoy has to rotate and cover the rest of the spot. Operator picked up as well. Take down one, but Harvey and Z1 with the trades. An operator being put to use as well. Now the swing out wide there from Reva. Can't quite pick up D1 and Cram. Is there to finish them off. Four to two. And that's better from Great Southern Ground. They get the mid control there. They use that quite well. They force the fights to come out from the short side towards B. And then also just picking off them one by one. They keep the numbers advantage nicely. And they break a four round streak there. This goes Colby here. Catholic College. And. Now, another real gun around here, and D1 has that operator now. It looked pretty nice using it just before, so that could be... Well, it could come back to Holt Colby. You don't want to give up big guns to your enemy, even if they are on the attacking side this, uh, at this point. And if he goes towards mid and someone pops out, that uh, might spell a bit of trouble. Yeah, definitely not. Operator donated, that's always going to be a bad time. Something that you're going to be hearing a lot more into the next round, uh, even to this. But this is a fight coming through Ooh. and the boss is going to just make a count. It means that he can also get healed up here right now. The threat is absolutely real. They have to deal with this and they don't really have much of an answer. OC3, meanwhile, is just chucking the Leer, and there's also going to be the Cypher Cage. They're going to push Melons, but this is super aggressive. Once again, Melons is not spotted. Well, I know exactly. He's a bit more aware of it this time as Cram. Pops out his ultimate as well, and Hippo has been revealed, so they might need to start moving. Also, the Euro on towards the site. Jump goes down. Liche will pick Spike up two from OC A. as well. And now Harvey, he's on the side, not wary for it. Liche with another, a third. 
Unfortunately, they're going to be stuck with a Killjoy here. On towards the side. So, it does mean they have to push off. The bomb is down on the, on the side. And this is possible. The revive could possibly come left. in if anyone's sort of dead. Oh, this is Your risky. Is if they start peeking out, Razor's going to meet the long end of a gun. And that's exactly what happens. D1 will take them out of air as they're coming out of that revive. Leashe needs to pull off an ace here if they want to clutch this one out. They get the first in the D1. 12 seconds left on the clock. Pushes out. Leashe with the ace just like that. I mean, Sage is supposed to be a support hero, but when you get an ace, yeah, when you got a gun in your hand, it doesn't really matter. Just kill Well, where your liche, right? <laughs> <laughs> where your liche is like, well, what is uh, support? What is heals? What is resurrection? They're just part of my toolkit that I need in order to win the round. You guys are all just dummies and fakes for me. And the rest of the team, well, they're pretty much useless because he has caught Divos on the retreat and takes that one really quickly, disables the operator, and takes a massive ace for his team, which means that they take one back, three rounds deficit, and Miller has to go back, and he is happy to hold his angle every time. I feel a little bit sorry for GSG right now, because GSG, they get this, they give away that mid, they don't really have too much, and they have to guess themselves, because they don't have enough info. And they have to always fight this out, once again, Lichay is going to spot out Divos. In this mid, doesn't get a cigar for it. At least get a bit of info, but Hippo also goes picking on out as well, and both of them taking Long hefty inside. amounts of damage. Both oh, teams, though, I'm... sort of just waiting towards who pushes in, but it looks like it's going to be mid is where they want to head here, Great Southern Grammar. D1 leading the charge, OC possibly with the first peak here, but D1's going to go early, spot the Revo, now Hippo's aware of it as well, so... They know it's probably going to be a swing on towards this B site. Have the numbers towards it, D1 pops the ob, Reva. Picks them out of the air, and now OC, oh, Reva blinded up, still takes them down, just like that. Harvey will be able to pick up Hippo. And the bomb goes down, 4v3 situation, Ichi pushing out with the blind as well, going straight into side here. Pop the ult here from the Rainer, Reva will pick up another one, now Harvey goes, 4v2. And the Cypher cram left on That's the right, Ichi gets him peeking the wrong way, and well... Dr. Porkchop is just chilling over at the A site because I believe there might have been something pretty fantastic going on down there. Not really sure what, as he sort of just runs, walks, as he... Oh, I have absolutely no words to whatever the... What? what? Gun here. Uh, uh yeah, I, I don't know about why. <laughs> um... <laughs> Dr. Pokshop was at the back right there. <laughs> Should be at the site, but nevertheless, this is a uh, round for uh, the defense team on Copy Cassie. Uh, I mean, it would have made sense if they were saving, but they just wandered out into CT Sports after uh, the round had finished. That's a, that's a new one. Maybe that is a bit of a new one. Possibly <laughs> it's just a big brain play that I'm my small brain cannot even comprehend. Uh, Dr. Pork Chops knows something we do not as we get into round number seven here. Oh, sorry, nine. Can't even count anymore. <laughs> Throw me. Yeah, that, that was a little bit sus play right there, but at this second, we are going to have a play between Ichikami. And Ichikami is going to go down by Devolts and Devolts. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, hey there. just rush him. As he does that, Melon will be able to shut them down, but gee... C1 bots just like that has put everything together and now Melon and Cram. All oh, this is real. Oh, who peeks first? Cram's gonna spot that one out. We'll go down. The spikes dropped and all three Spike towards the stairs. Melon eight. with a 3k, one possibly even a remember. four for Melon. Coming alive here. The wall will be able to go down. The revive is gonna attempt to come in and actually. Yep, um, that's uh. <laughs> oh. Dr. Porkchops is trying interesting things. That's what I will say about this so far. Now it's trapped in the corner and Melon with a 6k! Six kills in the round and just like that we are 7 to 2. Sorry, our sage is kind of new, says OC3 in the chat. You know, that's... that's that's fine. I mean, it's all of, it's all a bit of a learning curve sometimes. It's got to, you've got to put things together, have a bit of fun with it and Dr. Pork Chops. I mean, they've got a couple of kills so far. One kill so far. One, seven, and one. And I mean, the revive was there. Just needed that wall to last a little bit longer. So, yeah, seven and two. This one's starting to get out of hand here for Great Southern. They need to find themselves around if they want to stay in towards this first half. 
really this map at the moment, but the utility that they've got and the guns isn't going to help too much here. Oh, they are going to have to fight this. Hippos goes low. But Riva picks one up. There's going to be a trade here. Most of the players from Kobe is here to choke him out. They can't really go backwards as well. Melis picks up another one. Knows exactly what he has to do. Ichikami at the back. And at this second. Yeah, everyone's just going to start going down. It's just Dr. Porkchop. One lonely sage. One spectre in your hand with a big dream. That's to go pretty big. And the spike on Cramtray H is going to go to A. A. Last player standing. Porkchop will go down, but the distraction is last long. So the bomb will be able to go down here for Cram. An opportunity in a 1v4. It's going to be difficult, but there's an opportunity on the left. Melon's already up towards heaven here as Cram tries to get back down towards the CT side. He will be able to tuck himself away. The problem is now, how is he going to be able to get this done here? That's him down. He's hearing all the footsteps, so he needs to find some firefights. Need to line up. Reaver, though, will put a stop to that. So the bomb goes down, but the round does not come with it. 7-2 to two will become 8-2, to two, and... This one's starting to really slip away for Great Southern. They've dropped two rounds of four in a row now. After winning the opening pistol, they stopped the streak of four to make it 4-2, but now they've given up another four here. And the money is just... It's not quite there for full for full full buys. Although it looks like they're still going to invest most of their stuff into it anyway. Possibly just going to be a bit short on the utility. D1 already having a bit of cash left over. Possibly could have bought up the operator, but going to be sticking with that Vandal. And Harvey with just the... Ooh, the shorty? Oh, come on. Just, shorty, he, yeah. just use that one. Use a shorty. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I really hope that... Ooh, oh, he wow. was on the cram. Just like that. Did Harvey not buy a gun? Or is... No, uh, he's on a shorty. He's on a shorty with 3,850. That is definitely an interesting play. Should be able to pick up... That gun from mid if he wants to. And that's what he's actually got. So now he's got the marshal. So he does have the marshal, I think. Or was that already down? I'm yeah, that was not... the yeah, that was the down gun right there. Cramped okay. at H had uh, it. <laughs> Just didn't buy a gun with 3,850. Interesting. Possibly thinking about playing the operator for the next round, maybe. I see picking out here. Towards that short side on A. Catwalk whooping up here, Pose. 4v4 situation now. And then we're a few of them are. Lee Shea almost getting done, gunned down as well. 10 HP just gets out of that. Mel oh. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> 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 I can't do this, man. What is happening? <laughs> Every shit out of get out of the books is just being thrown. Like, look at the boss, he's from the back. And he, he's gonna left. pick up a kill, but look at Melon. Is he gonna go for another one? Because he's in perfect condition to do so if they push. And of course, Reva's gonna. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. And the boss knows this, obviously, but Reva's gonna take him down, and now it's just OC3, and he's gonna be taken down by the Doppel Ichi Kanami, and. Oh, has with the oh, pretty Last much. Round Melon is just running around being the best cypher. I mean, best uh, <laughs> omen possible. He's done everything. He's done a 6k. He's done absolute defense. He's been a sneaky ninja. And he's knight. I mean, nothing else can be done for him. <laughs> They're just running this one away. I I have no words for this. This is uh it's interesting. We getting claps, this is D1 in the chat. You know what? That's uh that's a pretty angry way to describe it. Nine to two, last round of the first half here, so it's gonna be four by small Reva the spam. Someone walk into it, come on. Be a dear why don't you as he just <laughs> continuously <laughs> trying to get that spam wall there. He's gonna do I think a slight bit of damage to a couple of players. Yeah. Definitely onto D1 as the Ooh. So, so Harvey wants to try and get on towards the back of sight here. And he actually might be to towards CT. Just, oh my god, that is... <laughs> oh no! Just a double comes up for Reva. Yoru's dimension on roof is at the right place, but... He doesn't get the full confirmed One double tap remaining. on the shorty. And at the same time, it's going to go down to Reaper and Mel is going to pick up the rest, which ends in a nice victory on the side of Kobe Catholic Switching College. Sides. Now, that was, the, that was the last round of the first half. Like, everything was just done. So, eight rounds deficit. 
for <laughs> great something grammar great something grammar obviously it's going to come out of this with a lot of uh thinking to do in regards to how they're going to be able to go forward and compete into the future and of course kobe catholic college they are giving them a lesson on how to like you know control the map in the set and a little bit of synergy for their team they're gonna go back and watch this replay and they're gonna be like ah this is where we're doing a shutdown melon and he has just caused us a lot of pain well the opportunity does come now at least getting on towards this defensive half we survive trying to get these sage walls up and running possibly Cypher ults and usage can come out a bit more here with the camera, which uh, many is going to go sort of down towards there. Yeah, so apparently Harvey is lagging. Even better, Melon pops his head up, and well, OC was just like, well, if you're going to do that, I'm more than happy to oblige with that kill there. There's the Cypher pushing in that Cypher smoke as well. Really nicely done there. It means that they can't really push in too far at the moment. Now I'm sort of jumping out towards this B side. They're going to go head back towards mid. Try to take it through here, D1, though, where what might be happening, the shots go out, the damage doesn't land, he's jumping, he's alive, how is he alive? <laughs> he gets healed up as well, oh my god, down, D1 takes Reva out of the fight, 5v3 situation, the Sage Bliche is low, we'll be taking down with Hippos, we'll pick up Cram now, and now Icky and also Hippos, both so low, 4v2, they've got the bomb, but... 40 seconds, if they're going to make a choice, it needs to be probably be straight towards A at this point. And that's where they're starting to rotate to as well. 33 there, they have to commit to this. They're going to be running into Harvey left. and also looking like OC as they get themselves set up, up on towards the side. Hippo coming out to... Oh, no, oh. they just ran away. Just Timing is everything standing. in this game. OC will put down itchy as the bomb starts to go down. And OC will stop that one from coming through. And a nice defensive... Start there from Great Southern. They picked up the first pistol round last time. They pick up the pistol round here as well. So they've started off nicely, especially after losing the last six rounds of that first half. So they've given themselves an opportunity to get back in towards this game. Yeah, look, Cram JH is going to pick up a big Guardian. And uh, we're happy to see that gun come out. Uh, we obviously want to see GSG do a little bit better. They were able to hold that first one, which means that they are going to start closing this corner. Melon picks up a Marshall. Going to see if he's going to put something into this play, but Cram JH is going to be running through a whole stack coming up here. Look how fast they're taking this site. Yeah, they're already straight into it, and Cram's been spotted out as well. So now where he is, OC though, picks up inches, not aware. Boathouse, uh, well, I would say the more than mid position. The door wasn't shut yet. Might be four. Leisha and Melon over the trades back. OC, Spike down. their third of the round. That pistol coming out absolutely huge. The ghost usage, very nice. Reaver. Oh my god, Melon. Oh, oh does get the kill there on the Dr. Pork Chops. 4v2 becomes a 2v2. How do you want to use this one now? An OC, they know where they are as well, Melon. Looking towards there is Cram the Spam. It's going to quite work. Reva will put them down. And now, it's all up to OC. 50 HP and a dream. One blind on them. Reva gets the plant in now. Spike planted. Goes in towards main. OC is aware. And oh, he's just going to run straight. Bomb grenade out. Wow. That's kind of just like the, you know, I if I don't look at you, then... You can't see me. If I can't see you, you can't see me. That's how that works. Uh, unfortunately, OC, that's not quite how that works as Melon picks them up. 11 to 3, and the, again, the instant reply, and they're just not being able to convert these pistol rounds into the second and give themselves that, uh, that financial advantage that they really need right now. Two great Southern, so... They find themselves again just in a bit of a corner. Oh, this is a nice but They're just there. buying whatever they can at the moment, so it's going to be sort of those half buys to both. It's a phantom on Reaver for less armor, but everyone else just sort of buy whatever you can. Quite a number of Spectres out there. This is going to be another big round here. Oh, Ichi Karami is going to take that crown. He was OC. He's going to get that trade in. OC3 dismisses, but he's a lot of things. Gets a spray. Doesn't really get anything else. He was like the push up. He's back here. Melon picks up OC3, which means that this is the B-side for secure. Harvey gets one. Reva's gonna get a mouthful of Divots on the side, and they are gonna get him, but Hippo takes one, doesn't get the second. Player standing. Gets taken out, and Liche doesn't get the spike down. Oh, oh, the oh, Liche! Oh, just pushes on out, and now 
Left in the 1v1 situation. D1. 17 kills. They've been keeping Great Southern in this as much as possible as Lichet just waiting the angle. Who picks first? It's going to be Lichet trying to plant the bomb. The fake comes in. D1 comes right around the corner and Lichet finishes them off. 12 to 3. And now nine map points to start map us point. off here. And well, do or die now for Great Southern. They've only, well, they've only got what they can really buy at this point. They managed to have pretty big investments. The operator, well, that's actually on Melon and the opposite team. Uh, yeah. Colby, but uh, I mean, they're <laughs> investing as whatever they can at this point. OC3, looks like we're going to be buying up that Spectre Keep armor. Cool. So they just can't make any mistakes here. They just need to get that bomb plant down to get the side done. A lot easier said than done, though. And Cram already oh, spotting one there. Oh, Aware of it. The spam comes in through the wall. One of these is about to come off at some point. Not going to pick up too much there, unfortunately, as this really starts to get underway here, and the push into the B site begins. Oh, here we go. They're going to start this middle with the operation of Dr. Pusher. He sees, he sees a lot. Cram takes one. But the second, Melon's going to take one really quickly. Spice they've spotted down, where Dr. Pushov is. Reva is going to be taken down. Decoy. And at the same time, they are through decoys out. Ichigami is going to take one. But this means that they can actually just go for a rotating to A. I mean, they don't have to do this. They don't have to take this side. Oh, this is what oh, I was talking about. The telly. There it is. That's the one they're after. Cram, though. We'll be able to pick up one. Ichi's been spotted out as well. Now, OC, they know they're coming up towards heaven. Just sort of looks at them and goes, yeah, okay, you can deal with that one when he gets to site. He's also going to pick up Harvey as well. And now, Cram, well, he needs to make his way towards the B side. OC's already on here, but still needs to deal with Melon, who's just chilling already back at the entry point to A main. See, so clearing out most of the areas now. Sort of becoming aware of where all this is coming from. Ichi as well. Wading in towards me. They know. Cram's up towards heaven. Melon will take them down. OC is gone. It's just left on Cram. Operator angle being held by Melon. Won't be able to pick that one up as he throws down the guns. And just... One enemy yep. Remaining. That's... Uh... <laughs> Attackers win. Yep. That was a map. And that was a round. And not... What great southern... Ugh. Not what great Southern were after, but Colby Catholic College will be delighted. 13 to 3, they get that one done very nicely indeed as we complete our first map here on Ascent and Amp. Just uh, far superior there. Yeah, look, you know, great Southern grandma and uh, even Colby Catholic College. In the beginning, it was a little bit scuffed in there. I'm not sure what was happening from the first two rounds, but you know what? We started edging out on exactly what was happening as soon as as we got off the pistol rounds because if you had a look melon was unstoppable with river on defense so the devots tried his best to make everything happen it was just such a far superior team coming in from Kobe catholic college on this first ascent now they were able to take the site really well they were able to defend they were able to make a collective decision uh even under the pressure with liche saying you know what i got plenty of time to work with one minute um to muck around to you know fake the plan and just sit here until i know you're going to be coming for sure um obviously dr pochop hasn't really gotten too much uh, for his team as well which means that this is an easy victory 13-3 it's a massive gap on this first snap and game two is going to be icebox so we're going to see what's going to happen obviously we are going to be having a sub they are going to have a sub but we were going to go into a quick BRB. So guys, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. And we'll 